So, welcome back to our TX uh, signal pass, audio signal pass. And uh, if you haven't seen um, number one and uh, number two of this uh, series, uh, you should uh, watch uh, this before, and it is linked down below here. And yeah, so uh, the third part of uh, this series um, will uh, take uh, care on uh, our third block, which is um, the low pass filter. So that is uh, the guy um, we uh, have to talk about in uh, this uh, third part of uh, our series and uh, that will be um, as well the final uh, part of uh, the uh, TX uh, audio circuit uh, in FM mode, frequency modulation mode. Okay, so um, I have uh, very often um, mentioned that uh, this uh, block, so the third block, is um, a low pass filter. Um, but, uh, well, I think we have to clear what uh, low pass filter means and why do we need this low pass filter. So, therefore, let us uh, first talk about uh, the basic forms um, of uh, RC filters. So, that is really uh, the basic um, form of um, a low pass or uh, a high pass filter. So, this here is a low pass, and uh, what you can see uh, here. Um, is uh, the frequency response uh, re versus the uh, voltage which uh, is applied to uh, the input. And uh, what you can see is that uh, the low frequencies can pass through and uh, the higher frequencies, uh, depending on the cut-off uh, frequency, uh, which is a 3 dB point, um, are getting attenuated. And, uh, well, the same is uh, with this uh, high-pass uh, filter. What you can uh, see here is uh, very similar, but uh, um, the other side uh, round, uh, so that uh, the low frequencies get uh, attenuated and as higher as the frequencies uh, get, uh, then they uh, can pass through this filter. And uh, that is what you uh, basically uh, should know about um, filters. And, uh, well, you know, there is much more behind it. But uh, just to understand what uh, uh, low-pass filter, what uh, we have in our audio pass, um, is doing. Therefore, uh, this here might be very helpful. So, um, low pass, low frequencies uh, can pass through and uh, higher frequencies get attenuated. Okay, in uh, our radio um, we have a much more uh, complex um, low pass filter. So uh, it is an active one uh, with uh, <coughs> op amp, and uh, so this is uh, much different to um, the basic uh, types uh, which are uh, available. Um, so in uh, the uh, technical uh, documentation of uh, the radio, we uh, find that uh, this um, low-pass filter will have um, a cut-off uh, frequency of um, 2.5 uh, kilohertz 
and um, well what does that mean um, if we look on this uh, graph so I hope uh, we all can uh, read it what we what we can uh, see here is yeah uh, so this is uh, one uh, kilohertz and uh, here we have uh, 10 kilohertz and uh, this point uh, up here so this is a 2.5 uh, kilohertz and uh, exactly at uh, this point here uh, we have uh, our uh, 3 uh, dB point so uh, the gain uh, is uh, 3 dB down at uh, the um, 2.5 uh, kilohertz uh, frequency so uh, that is uh, the characteristic that uh, uh, the filter is um, uh, going down to uh, you know to yeah at, at uh, the deepest uh, point because what we really want is uh, to attenuate all frequencies which are above this uh, two, uh, 2 2.5 kilohertz um, and uh, this uh, does not go uh, rapidly so this uh, goes uh, slow and uh, it depends on uh, the filter uh, variant uh, you are using so as better uh, a filter is as uh, better is you know uh, this uh, slope here so um, I mean if, if the, the filter would be uh, something like that that we uh, can really cut off at uh, this point here so that uh, here is uh, 2.5 kilohertz and all behind or beyond uh, 2.5 uh, kilohertz uh, will be attenuated that would be uh, uh, idle but uh, this is uh, not given so in reality um, we have always uh, this uh, falling uh, edge and uh, you know as better uh, the uh, filter is as uh, better is this uh, falling edge coming closer to the uh, idle uh, type well but uh, you know the um, RC uh, filter types uh, which uh, I have shown here which are uh, the basic uh, filter filters which are uh, available um, have a, a very bad response so that uh, may be that the filter uh, would like uh, I don't know something something like uh, that uh, you know the uh, attenuation uh, starts um, yeah very or is, is the response is uh, very very uh, slowly so even higher uh, frequencies uh, can pass through and uh, therefore you uh, are using um, a more uh, better filter and therefore you are using um, uh, active uh, filters um, with uh, more than uh, one uh, order uh, to uh, bring this um, more to uh, the uh, idle uh, waveform waveform or filter response you you want to see well but anyway what uh, we want to see is uh, something like this that uh, we have um, uh, something like this uh, uh, frequency response um, for our filter which uh, is uh, installed into the radio I mean uh, again there is much more behind uh, this filters so you know there are so many different types and they all respond different and uh, you have really uh, complex uh, filter types 
which are, are uh, not really easy to understand and not really easy to uh, calculate. So therefore, um, I do not want to, to dive too deep uh, into that. Uh, just let, uh, um, let us uh, go to, to this uh, point where uh, we know, okay, that uh, is a filter, that is what uh, the filter should do, and uh, we will um, see how uh, it is in reality. Well, and uh, exactly therefore, uh, I did a sweep um, on uh, the behavior on uh, the filter. I feed in um, a frequency uh, directly into the microphone lead and uh, I took uh, the frequency uh, response uh, behind our filter. And uh, well, what you can see here, uh, each of uh, this uh, division means uh, one kilohertz. So uh, altogether this uh, is a spectrum of uh, 10 kilohertz and uh, well what we uh, can see here so um, yeah so the half this division means uh, uh, 500 um, hertz and uh, well what we uh, can see the uh, the, the filter response uh, starts, uh, I don't know, somewhere at uh, 200 uh, Hertz, uh, some, something like that. And then you can see this is 1 kilohertz, this is 2 kilohertz, and then uh, somewhere at uh, 2.5 there may be uh, something a bit higher or whatever, but something here we have our 3 dB point and then you see uh, the filter response is really uh, going down, so that means uh, signals which will be down uh, here will be really attenuated only uh, frequencies uh, from let me say two or three hundred uh, Hertz up to two point uh, three or five whatever it is a little bit uh, difficult uh, to see here on the screen but anyhow somewhere around uh, that frequency uh, you you see the uh, attenuation starting up and uh, all, the, all the frequencies which are higher than let me say 2.5 uh, kilohertz gets uh, attenuated. So you see uh, the filter uh, response is um, really uh, what uh, it is uh, uh, telling in the specs so that means uh, the filter is working I mean uh, you see uh, this curve here and it is not uh, as uh, I explained it that we really uh, want to have it uh, really like this so very sharp edges but uh, remember so this is not linear so this uh, is uh, in uh, dB and uh, one uh, of uh, this uh, division in, um, in, uh, on, on uh, the y axis is 10 dB and uh, so that means uh, only two of these uh, divisions is uh, 20 dB and remember 20 dB means the signal is already uh, is already ten ten times uh, smaller, and uh, forty dB means uh, the voltage is already one hundred times lower. So uh, that is uh, what you should have uh, in uh, consideration when you uh, yeah evaluate uh, this uh, curve. Well, once again, what what I did? So I uh, uh, I'm feeding in here um, our sweep uh, uh, signal. 
so um, in directly into um, the microphone uh, wires so um, for yeah for the mic uh, for the capsule itself and uh, I'm picking uh, the signal here at um, where this is our uh, de deviation pot and um, to uh, see it uh, once again on uh, the uh, schematic uh, we are feeding in here right uh, at the beginning uh, we can see just a little bit uh, here from uh, our uh, mic microphone jack so we are feeding in here and uh, I'm picking uh, the signal um, really at uh, you know this uh, uh, deviation pot so that is really behind um, the uh, filter and uh, what we get uh, out of this sweep is uh, what what you have seen uh, here so this is uh, the filter response and once again remember this is in decibel so that is db and it is not linear so that's the reason why we do not have this uh, sharp edges well now um, the question is uh, why do we need uh, all this stuff why do we really need uh, this um, low pass filter why do we put uh, such uh, um, uh, big efforts in into uh, a radio and uh, why do we filter uh, at least uh, our audio um, uh, signal um, and why do we cut it uh, at uh, 2.5 uh, kilohertz well remember this all uh, has to do with uh, our channel raster uh, we have so uh, the the channel um, width of uh, each um, of uh, the channels is uh, only uh, uh, 10 kilohertz and uh, because uh, this has been set to uh, 10 uh, kilohertz um, we must really um, we must really con consider all um, you know uh, the uh, parameters uh, around it if we only have uh, 10 kilohertz and if we uh, want to work in uh, frequency uh, modulation then we uh, have to remember our uh, formula on uh, bandwidth for uh, FM mode and uh, the formula was that uh, the bandwidth which uh, is needed uh, to uh, transmit uh, our, our voice is um, the uh, output of uh, the RF um, modulation so the, 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 the RF not RF modulation the uh, AF uh, spectrum which uh, we have um, seen is uh, 2.5 kilohertz because that is uh, the cutoff and our deviation which uh, is um, 2 kilohertz so that is uh, the legal limit with uh, plus minus uh, tolerance and uh, well with uh, with uh, frequency modulation this is uh, the approximate needed uh, bandwidth so we have uh, to add our deviation and uh, the maximum uh, audio uh, modulation frequency with, which is uh, 2.5 uh, kilohertz and uh, if we add this both um, values together so 2 and uh, 2.5 uh, uh, all together is uh, 4.5 and 4.5 uh, times uh, 2 means we already uh, need 9 kilohertz if we really stay in uh, this uh, values um, but uh, we know um, and, and we have seen on uh, this 
uh, graph that, uh, you know, even when uh, the 3 dB point is at uh, 2.5 kilohertz, even higher frequencies will still pass through, uh, even they uh, get uh, attenuated. And uh, therefore, you know, uh, it might be in reality uh, 2.7 or 2.8 and our deviation might be 2.2 or 2.3. Uh, you know, this uh, is the tolerance. Um, and uh, with this uh, tolerance, we are already at uh, our, you know, uh, 10 uh, kilohertz uh, uh, channel width. So, you know, now you maybe uh, understand the interrelation uh, between um, yeah, uh, the channel uh, width, the channel raster, um, and uh, you know uh, the uh, maximum legal limit of 2 kilohertz for, of course, uh, 10 kilohertz um, uh, channel width. And uh, why the audio frequency has been set to uh, 2.5 kilohertz uh, uh, yeah, audio spectrum. Because this all together um, just uh, makes it uh, possible to bring our uh, audio uh, TX uh, into our uh, 10 uh, kilohertz uh, channel width because if we uh, would increase this uh, 2.5 um, kilohertz to um, uh, yeah, uh, larger or wider uh, audio spectrum then subsequently we would uh, need uh, more on uh, uh, channel width, so this is uh, the, the 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 interrelation between this uh, little uh, formula and uh, the given uh, channel width on um, yeah you know uh, CB radios. Well, but um, why can we cut our uh, audio? frequency uh, at uh, 2.5 uh, uh, kilohertz. I mean, we all have uh, heard that uh, um, maybe on uh, high fidelity sound systems we are talking about 20 kilohertz, which we want to hear. And um, so what is, what's about the human voice in, in, in which um, frequency uh, uh, spectrum is our normal voice acting. Hmm. This all has uh, to do with uh, at least our human ear and how our human ear is uh, responding uh, to different uh, frequencies. And uh, well, um, in the past. Uh, they are, have uh, done a lot of uh, researches on that and uh, what has been uh, found out is uh, at least what uh, you can uh, see down uh, here and I hope um, it is uh, readable um, a little bit. So what uh, we know uh, at least is that uh, the human voice um, is um, in a spectrum of uh, 80 up to uh, 12 kilohertz. So that is uh, the frequency spectrum where uh, the normal human voice when we are talking, so this is um, is a spectrum which uh, is involved uh, when 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 we are talking. I mean, yeah, of course, there are uh, uh, harmonics um, into it, and uh, which uh, um, yeah makes uh, the voice sounding um, 
so that is the reason why uh, it is uh, 80 to 12, uh, 80 hertz to uh, 12 uh, kilohertz. But uh, a lot of uh, researches uh, just proved that um, we only need a, a spectrum from 300 hertz up to 3 kilohertz. So this is a, um, a this is a width of uh, 2.7 kilohertz and this frequency spectrum is needed uh, for 99% readability of uh, the spoken word. So therefore we can really reduce and, and, and you, you can uh, really see it here 2.7 uh, kilohertz is uh, really very close to where uh, the filter is uh, responding or where we have uh, our uh, cutoff uh, frequency and uh, then uh, this uh, graph um, will make uh, more sense for you I, I hope and then again if we now watch uh, onto uh, this uh, graph once again we uh, may understand that uh, we do not need to start at uh, zero hertz so it really uh, is uh, efficient enough when we start at uh, 300 uh, hertz and that is the reason why you see here uh, you know the uh, upcoming uh, amplitude and yeah that is the reason why we can uh, finally uh, make um, this um, frequency uh, response as uh, narrow as uh, it uh, has been made uh, within uh, this uh, with with uh, within this uh, uh, formula and now i hope um, this uh, interrelation makes uh, a bit more uh, sense we need um, you know uh, the low pass filter to bring the bandwidth in uh, the needed uh, into the needed uh, value that uh, we met our 10 uh, kilohertz um, channel with and uh, we need to think our, uh, um, we need to think about our uh, human ear how uh, is it respond to uh, different frequencies and when we uh, put all this uh, knowledge uh, together then uh, it might be uh, clear um, why it is possible to make uh, a channel as narrow as uh, 10 kilohertz and um, it might be clear why um, we need this uh, 10 kilohertz in frequency uh, modulation it would be different in uh, single sideband in single sideband uh, uh, the needed uh, frequency uh, spectrum is much smaller you you can really use filters uh, like like this so this uh, could be a filter response uh, in SSB because uh, you do not need more uh, bandwidth in single side band but in uh, frequency modulation you need uh, this uh, bandwidth to get um, this uh, modulation type through your uh, channel width and uh, well that uh, is at least the uh, interrelation um, between uh, all these uh, parameters okay and uh, once again this is um, our, sig our signal um, behind uh, our uh, clipper or limiter uh, circuit and uh, you see our input signal is uh, obviously um, a little bit uh, 
too big so the limiter is uh, working as uh, we have uh, described it in part two of uh, this uh, series and um, well you see uh, it is uh, not a, a sign anymore so it looks really more like a square and um, well so uh, now we come uh, to another point of uh, you know our uh, uh, circuit uh, once once again I'm now uh, measuring exactly at uh, this uh, point so uh, exactly behind uh, the limiter with uh, the signal we have uh, seen and now I will put uh, my uh, my probe here uh, at uh, the uh, output of our of uh, our low pass filter and we will uh, watch uh, this uh, signal uh, as well so one second uh, I need to bring uh, the radio back into uh, transmit which is a bit difficult right now okay radio is uh, in transmit again and uh, now I take the probe off um, from the limiter and uh, put it behind our low pass filter and uh, okay so I have some yeah so so it works and uh, now what what you uh, can see here on the screen is that um, you know it is a little bit uh, back to uh, it, it looks a little bit more like uh, a sign than uh, directly uh, behind uh, the limiter and uh, that uh, at least is uh, the second advantage of uh, the low pass filter so it brings the signal back to normal just a little bit and uh, if you have not that much overdriven your uh, clipper circuit as we did it here in uh, our example then this uh, um, uh, this uh, curve will be look much more like uh, a sign and uh, the distortion is not uh, still that big as it is I mean it is still uh, a real uh, distorted uh, sign but you you really see the difference I, I go back uh, to uh, the clipper output and uh, you you simply can see that uh, this signal is uh, much more worse than uh, the signal which uh, we can pick uh, it's a little bit fiddly here uh, which we can uh, fit at uh, this uh, point so that is the second advantage of um, a low pass filter because we are able to filter um, harmonics so we are really able to filter uh, the higher harmonics out uh, of the signal and that is the reason why uh, you know our signal is uh, coming back to normal yeah and uh, how that will work I will show you in a second so what you can see here are uh, at least uh, so this is a fundamental so I'm feeding in one uh, kilohertz and uh, I'm uh, probing uh, behind the clipper and what you uh, can uh, find here are all the harmonics up to uh, uh, 10 uh, kilohertz and uh, you see the harmonics are really strong and uh, they really pushing through and uh, you know this is uh, yeah, this is what uh, we uh, do not want but uh, when we now put our filter over it so uh, let's uh, see how uh, it looks like 
So this here is uh, our filter. Yeah, and and what you what you can see, simply see is that all these strong, these strong harmonics get uh, attenuated because you know we have this uh, falling uh, edge here and uh, this uh, uh, strong uh, harmonic can't influence in this uh, dramatic way our uh, signal behind uh, this low pass filter and you really can see that uh, all the harmonics get really attenuated look look at this uh, this harmonic which uh, is still very very strong but uh, you also can see how much uh, the uh, attenuation is uh, already at uh, this uh, point of uh, the frequency so therefore you really can imagine that uh, you know the filter uh, is really doing uh, something good to uh, our signal which we want to have uh, at uh, the output. Well, and, and now uh, I'm at uh, the output, so that means I'm really uh, taking uh, uh, the signal behind um, the low pass filter and uh, you simply can see that uh, the uh, the output uh, uh, harmonics are now smaller and uh, that is uh, due to this filter uh, response so I can take out uh, the filter uh, response but you but you still can see that uh, now uh, the harmonics are much smaller than uh, directly uh, probed at uh, the clipper circuit and that is what uh, this uh, filter is uh, doing to the signal and that is the reason why so let me uh, put it back here uh, that is uh, the reason why uh, the signal looks uh, much better yeah, there are some um, triggering uh, problems but uh, anyway uh, we, we, we know uh, how it should uh, look like so you see it uh, is uh, much uh, better now the signal and that means um, our audio is now uh, better um, formed or shaped uh, for our transmission yeah, therefore, uh, once again, um, we uh, see now the two uh, parameters which are really um, in, in, in influencing our uh, uh, signal, which uh, is uh, going now uh, to the transmitter. And uh, yeah, so we see uh, what uh, the um, low pass filter has to do first of all just limiting the bandwidth that uh, at least uh, we are uh, able to fit the signal in uh, our uh, 10 kilohertz raster um, we have seen the uh, interrelation we have seen uh, how uh, it worked uh, together and now, yeah, after that uh, we uh, know how the complete uh, TX audio um, signal pass uh, is uh, working and uh, how the interrelation is uh, between uh, amplification, limitation, filtering, why and uh, where, what uh, is happening in in uh, this uh, signal pass yeah and uh, that's it we are uh, you know at uh, the end of uh, the story of uh, our um, uh, audio um, tx uh, signal pass and uh, i hope uh, this all uh, made uh, a bit uh, sense to you and uh, 
Well, um, if you like this video, please give a big thumb up. And if you have not uh, subscribed uh, up to now, please subscribe uh, to my channel. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, catch you next time. Bye.